So we want to ask yourself, we want to ask, have you identified and assessed the tangible conditions under which your company routinely operates? Now, situational factors, they're the tangible conditions under which an organization operates. This might include the geographical location or the equipment it uses. So you need to put this under a microscope and you need to answer that question because to be effective, we want to assess these situational factors. This includes the tangible conditions under which that organization operates. Then we want to determine the impact of those tangible factors on our organization and our product planning process. You can have the greatest new product development plans in the world, but if you don't have the capacity to produce the goods, then you need to know that in advance. Now, SaaS companies are different. Obviously, they have minimal capital equipment. They don't produce tangible products, and I believe they can therefore take more risks and even be more informal in the way they evaluate the impact of innovation. So, to assess the intangible factors, ask yourself, have you assessed the intangible factors and conditions that fluctuate and change over time in your company? So intangible factors are conditions, um, you know, they can change. In most cases, they're more fluid, right? And conceptual, conceptual than situational factors. Often they're non-existent in a tangible form, right? In a physical form. Your product and services perceived quality and your brand reputation, they're intangible factors. Things like warranties, uh, the quality of your after-sales service, this can add value and equally destroy value if not accounted for. So to be effective, assess and consider the intangible factors determining their likely impact on your organization. So once you identify and assess the situational and the intangible capabilities, any gaps you uncover will re represent areas that your organization can either leverage or build and acquire, right? We wanna go out and fill those gaps. We wanna, we wanna leverage what we already know first and play to our strengths. So have you asked yourself, have you performed a SWOT analysis to provide information that helps match the company's resources and capabilities to the competitive environment in which it works in? So to be effective, we wanna perform a SWOT analysis to provide this information, right? To match our capabilities to the competitive environment in which we operate.